what's going on, Legion? As you're here, like always, we got into the Spider Verse. I, the, if you if you search for the last one I did, I gave a lot of thoughts on how I thought they were. Gonna, I did, I haven't looked it up, so I don't know if this takes place in the Ultimate Universe, our universe, the fact that they've kind of blended uh, at least the the Ultimate Spider Man world in with the main Marvel Spider Man universe. They've kind of just said, okay, instead of having instead of having you know uh, Miles only in the ultimate we'll just bring him over here and one of them like a cartoon version said that he got stuck here and then he and his mom then they brought his mom over and they just lived here uh and then the game came out uh and the game isn't really like i don't think based off of you know what whatever it was so i gave my thoughts on how i thought they might do that how they might do it and, and all that kind of stuff uh, I, like i said i haven't looked it up i don't know if the if a wiki would actually say where this takes place what universe um, because there's all, there's versions, alternate universe, Peter Parker dies, uh, in the other universe, he doesn't. If they bring Miles over to our, because it's R, 616, whatever, is the main Marvel, R, well, not really R, it's the comic book world we know. Um, our universe is where the Marquee of Death comes from. Look that guy up if you want to check out him. Comic Book Explained has a good video on that guy. Um, but if he comes over here, he looks like he's just going in retirement. He's not dying. So there's all these different questions I had um, that I doubt will ever get answered. I think they're just going to half-ass it and just kind of do it. It's the Peter Parker story through the eyes of Miles, I, I would assume. Or they're going to have Miles as the focal point of the multiverse. I'd rather it be still the Peter Parker story, but through Miles' perspective, as he's not really a Spider-Man yet. He's the new one. Um... Because Into the Spider-Verse has always been Peter Parker's thing. And Peter Parker's in this. But let's just... And what I mean is, like, let's keep the same story. But Miles is, like, sparing or spurring Peter to get his ass in the gear. Not Peter Parker going, I need help, everybody, let's go. But Miles going, we need to get this done. But with the same kind of story. I, I don't know, this is just kind of my... I might just wiki this thing so I can stop thinking about it. All I know is I don't have faith in the movie. I hope it's good, though. Spider-Man. I mean, this guy swings in, zip zaps out, and answers to no one. Man, you're old. You gotta say I love you. Dad, are you serious? My name is Miles Morales. I'm Spider-Man, but I'm not the only one. Spider-Man. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak him out. This was never your city. It's mine. Hey, Ben. Hey, let's shut this thing down. Into the Spider-Verse. Officer. I love you. <laughs> Wait, what? In theaters December 14th. My name is Miles Morales, <laughs> and I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> I love you, Miles. Yeah, I know, Dad. You gotta say I love you, Dad. Dad, are you serious? Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. That's, That's a copy. This was never your city. It's mine. Miles, what's wrong? How am I supposed to save the whole world? Ah. If you think about saving one person. Officer. I love you. <laughs> Wait, what? Into Makes me the think. Spider-Verse. Right. In theaters December 14th. That makes me think this is more Miles is it's it's Peter's story Miles is through Miles eyes. Oh, we're in Spanish. Aqui está. Será que eu esqueci de convidar o Peter? Bem-vindo a Cinemark. Ué, cadê o Peter? Ah, é, eu. I have no idea what's going on. Não filme ou fotografe. Desligue seus celulares. What the shit? Fumar não é permitido. Ah. E os extintores estão estrategicamente localizados. <laughs> Ué, por que, que eu não tô lá em cima? Latas e garrafas não são permitidas dentro do cinema. Ai, já volto. Oh, sério. Em caso de falta de energia, luzes de emergência I'm just watching now. Não importa onde vá, o vento me segue. Busque a saída de emergência mais próxima. Basta empurrar. Oh, glad this mess. Agora pode. <laughs> Coloque o lixo. Oh, I hate this. Lixeira. That's funny though. My name is Miles Morales. Ah, in English. World, I'm the one and only Spider-Man. That is, until he showed up. And it's a no on the cape. I think it's cool. Spider-Man doesn't wear a cape. Uh, <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. How many more spider people are there? Hey fellas. Hello. My name is Peter Parker. Can Spider-Man turn invisible? This is incredible. Some kind of fight or flight thing. What's that? Spider Ham or, or uh, Spider-Man yeah, to the Spider Verse. Yeah. Only in theaters December 14. This film is not yet rated. 
Meet Gwen Stacy. So, hello. So it looks like it is going to be. We're, we're we're just launching off from the ultimate universe, or Miles at least wherever he's at. His yeah, well it is the ultimate universe because he's like I was the only Spider-Man until he showed up, which is a weird way to saying something when it should have been. Uh, I am the new Spider-Man. Oh, well, maybe they just didn't want. It. Yeah, that's too much to. You know, I'm the new Spider-Man after the old one died, and then he showed up. That's just. Whatever. But to have Miles as the only Spider Man, I, I don't like that. You know, Miles learned from example. He saw the selflessness that his Peter Parker, all Peter Parker, that Spider Man was, which made him, it gave him the foundation to be, or at least start out, you know, with, it, you know, and it was his tutelage. I can't remember in the comics if. If they actually met, I don't. Th I think in the comics how it started was Miles and Peter never actually met, and when Peter Parker died fighting the Sinister Stick Six <clears throat> on his front lawn, and the world saw that it was Peter Parker and that he was not that old. You know, there was those conversations with I didn't know Peter, and, and talking to Aunt May and, and all the you know Mary Jane and all them. And saying that, you know, he inspired him to be the next Spider-Man. In the, in the new cartoons and stuff like that, there's more hand-holding. It's, it's Peter holding the hand of Miles and kind of saying, this is how you do it. And then eventually he'll die. Or because it's been rolled into one universe now, um, Peter Parker will just retire. And this one, it looks like Miles is either the, the, the only Spider-Man and or he's the new one after Peter dies and then this other version popped in. Looks like they're just going to kind of do their own thing where there was no Spider-Man. Miles is the only Spider-Man. And then Peter hops up, uh, hops in and says, you know, the multiverse is in trouble. We need your help or something like that. And it's all about the story of Miles, which is a cool take. I'm cool not seeing Peter Parker the first time. Um, I've read enough comics to kind of see Spider-Gwen's you know, version of it. I don't know what it is about comic books or or even the shows, but whenever a, a girl gets either superpowers and or spider powers, they become super overconfident. Like, I can understand maybe some guys like that, but Peter was never that kind of guy. He had maybe his, his downfall with the symbiote or things like that. Um, but Ms. Marvel, not Captain Marvel, the cosmic wielding not really count because she's not that strong um but the, the 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 inhuman that stretches she is super cocky and when a lot of the female characters get their powers gwen was very like i can you know why why do we have to let, let's just go out and hey everybody i'm gwen stacy spider gwen you know this is my secret identity doesn't matter and when when mary jane got the symbiote or, or whatever that that explains that but all the female, at least spider people, are, you know, um, oh God, spider woman, super obstinate, super just my way or the highway. And a lot of them are like that. It's always just really funny, very cocky. I wonder why. Is it because men are writing these comics and they're writing these female characters and they just don't know? Or is it a woman saying, all right, it's time for a woman to be badass and they're just jumping the shark? That's always been my question, because there we got the we got the Captain Americas and the Tony Starks, super cocky and shitty and um, rich and all that Playboy bullshit, and we got the Cap, which is the humble, you know, and he has when you get really when you watch the grittier or, or read the grittier comics, he is very much can be a cocky piece of garbage, which is why I don't usually like Captain America. But there's a lot of guys that are also... Like T'Challa is the most arrogant piece of shit. I hate that fucker. I hate the Black Panther. The, that cocky SOV. God, he pisses me off. Oh, Wakanda, we have the most of its technology. Fuck out of here, man. Just eat a dick. Um, but there usually is some range. Banner, you know, or, or uh, Hank Pym. You know, they, they always have their, their shortcomings, but... Female characters, not all of them, but some of them, are from zero to I'm the badass, 
you know, I, I just wonder why it's written that way. I don't know. That, that, those are just my questions, I guess. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to end it right there with the ramble at the end. Uh, if you like the video, like the content, you can always like, subscribe, or share. We've broken 4,000. That's really cool. And I'll see what every video I'm doing next. Later, guys.